since we are surrounded with so many clouds of witnesses Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 to 3 says let us lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is marked out for us looking unto Jesus Christ the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth one is saying when I am done with this marital issues I will be able to serve God very well when I'm able to get into marriage then I will serve God very well oh I am waiting for my financial breakthrough and I believe it will enable me to serve God very well one is saying for now I'm a student when I finish school I will be able to serve God very well there are so many reasons some of us are failing to stand for what the Lord has called us to do Satan is also helping us to postpone our duties with thousand and one reasons until the time of our stay here is done but the Lord God Almighty is calling us in spite of our circumstances in spite of our challenges and comforts in spite of our situations is calling us to rise and to stand for him and to serve him and to do what he has called us to do looking unto Jesus Christ the author and the finisher of our faith in the name of Jesus I will serve the Lord with all You know, there is one truth. Even though the Bible has prophesied about the perilous times or the hardness of the times, I have never seen a scripture that says that the hardness of the times will cause the power in the death and the resurrection of our risen Jesus Christ to be reduced. No. So because of this, in spite of whatever we are going through, we can pray and surrender our problems, believe God for solutions, depend on the power of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ to overcome our various problems, to overcome our various issues. So we'll be enabled, we'll be empowered to do what God has called us to do. So now what I want us to do is that we are praying to God. There are so many issues 
diverse issues. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing. But in all things, Philippians chapter number 4, verse 6 and 7. In all things, by prayer and supplication, let your request be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will take care of your heart and of your mind and will fill you with peace. We are praying. We are bringing all the real issues. All our issues to God. We are telling God, God, I surrender these things to you. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying. Yes, Lord. We are praying. The power in the blood of Jesus, the power in the resurrection of Jesus Christ is able oh, to deal with every issue, to deal with every issue. So we are not allowing the issues to overwhelm us. We are not allowing the issues to overcome us. We are bringing them to the power of the cross, to the power of the resurrection. And we are trusting God. We are believing God for solutions in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to hear you praying in the name of Jesus. I want to hear you praying in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because it is action time. It is time for us to take action for the Lord. And those burdens must be offloading. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen. He says, If a man wants to follow me, if a man want to be my disciple in Luke chapter 9 verse 23 let that man let that woman deny himself take up his cross daily and follow me daily there will be burdens daily there will be issues but the Lord is calling us to carry our burdens daily and follow him Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 he says Come unto me, With all, all who are heavy laden, all who are carrying loads. Come unto me, and I will give you rest. So He has not called us just to carry our burdens, but He has called us to carry our burdens to Him, so that He will take off our burdens. He will offload us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Maybe you are a minister facing financial issues. And because of that, you are about quitting. The Lord is empowering you to stand again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Maybe you too. You may be in the case of Abraham. The Lord God Almighty is calling you. The Lord God Almighty is calling you to live certain lifestyle. But you are telling yourself, ah, when I live this lifestyle, what would I eat? What would I drink? How will I live? Just as Abraham left his country, left his people without considering what, what is going to happen to him and where he was going. So the Lord is calling you. You don't know what you are going to eat. You don't know what is going to happen to you. But the Lord God Almighty is calling you to stop that act. Stop committing yourself into the hands of the enemy. Stop following that moti. Stop following witch doctors. Stop following men. For the grace of God is here. Take action. For the Lord God Almighty is here. Take action for him. As you take a step of faith. He's meeting you. He's helping you. He's clothing you with a new garment. He's putting a new sandals on you. We are praying to God. Tell God I have come. I am ready. I am ready to walk the path you have called me to walk. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am ready to walk the path you have called me to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. In spite of the challenges. Although I don't have all that it takes. Oh, although I don't know the future yet. But your word says, I will live because you live. In the name of Jesus. And because you live, I will face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. 
Let's raise our hands and make this confession before God. Say in the name of Jesus. I surrender my burdens, my comforts, and all the things I'm going through. I surrender to Jesus Christ. I surrender the burdens to Him. And I take His burdens. I walk with His burdens. In the name of Jesus. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. I receive the grace to be concerned about the matters of Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In spite of my circumstances, I will love the Lord. I will serve the Lord. I will serve the Lord. In spite of my circumstances, I I will love 